Hello everybody, Dark Skeleton here, and in this video we're going to be reviewing five new cards from the uh, Journey to Angoro Hearthstone set. So, as you can see here on the left, uh, we have Unite the Murlocs, a new legendary quest for shamans, where if you summon ten murlocs, you are rewarded with Megafen. So, just like all the other quests, you do something and you get a big card, and that card is Megafen. So Megafin is a 5-mana 8-8, where you fill your entire hand with random murlocs, which means if this is the last card you play, you just drew 9 murlocs, not even from your deck, but out of nowhere. Pro probably uh, 9 murlocs from your deck would be a little bit better, because they are random murlocs. Um, but, all in all, a 5-mana 8-8 that gets you up to 9 card draws is pretty insane. Now. This does mean, of course, going back to the Unite the Murlocs card, that you are basically required to summon 10 Murlocs, which means you're effectively uh, pigeonholed into playing a very Murloc-heavy Shaman deck. Now, uh, cards that would be really good with this would probably be the uh, uh, Bring in the Finishers, 4 mana, summon 4 Murlocs on the board, the 1-1, one, one, so it's a 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, spread across 4 minions, but that counts as 4 Murlocs towards summoning Megafin, and uh, that might be worth it, especially when you consider that, uh, Me well, not Megafin, but Shaman Murloc already has the 7 mana, give all minions on your field plus 2 plus 2, but minus 1 for every Murloc, so it's good with that, and it's good with Unite the Murlocs, and bringing all these Shaman Murloc cards together, um, may actually make a competent deck this time, um, you know, uh, Fendra wasn't too bad in the last set, and I think... Cards like that are just going to get even better when you have the support of even more Murloc Synergy cards. So, I think this will be one of the stronger quests, uh, though it's only good in Murloc Shaman, so you have to play Murloc Shaman for that to be a thing, but it does give you a really good option if you want to play that archetype. So, uh, next up, we have Primal Fin Lookout. This is a 3-mana three 3-2, three so just like most Murlocs has weak stats on its own, but Battle cry, if you control another Murloc, discover a Murloc. Uh, you might remember a very similar card called the, uh, shit, what's it called? The 8-Bot or whatever from, uh, I think it was League of Explorers set? But the problem with that minion was it was a 4-mana 3-4. You discover a mech if you have another mech on the board. But uh, there weren't many good mechs at that time. But if there are good Murlocs to play, like maybe Fenja, maybe uh, War Leader or Blue Guild Warrior, then discovering another Murloc is going to be pretty solid. And not only that, but um, I think there's only a limited pool of Murlocs that are available here. So your odds of getting ones that you want, like War Leader or Blue Guild Warrior or Fenja, are very, very high. So uh, I think this will definitely see some play if Murloc decks are a thing at all. Which Megafin is kind of implying a Murloc Shaman. Uh, maybe the new kind of aggro duck we see going forward? We'll have to see. So next up, uh, well this isn't exactly a um, new card because they've announced it for a little while, but there was a line on Hearthbone where they were mentioning that uh, Galvadon, the leaked text for this card is that Battle Cry you uh, adapt five times. So Adapt, if you haven't seen this uh, effects on it, can be gain a Divine Shield, gain Wind Fury, gain plus 3 attack, gain plus 3 health. So if you get 5 of those kind of effects, you could make something like a 8-8 eight, eight Divine Shield, Taunt, Wind Fury uh, minion, which is pretty big, pretty solid. Um, now the question, of course, is going to be, um, how hard is it to bring Galvadon out in a Paladin deck? Because um, Adapt 5 times is pretty good. I don't think it's as good as Megafin, but... You know, we'll have to see. Uh, um, hard to evaluate without knowing what the quest does exactly. And that's assuming that, of course, the leaked version of this is actually accurate. But, uh, yeah, that's an update for that card. We'll have to see going forward. And then, uh, next up, we have Tolvir Stone Shaper. And there should be one extra card, actually. I will go ahead and pull that up in the background here. Okay, you ignore that interface, it does not matter. Anyway, um, Tolvir Stone Shaper. What this card does is, if you played an Elemental last turn, gain Taunt and Wind Fury, 
And uh, that's a 4 mana 3 5, kind of in the realms of something like a. What's it called? The Master Jouster. Yes, Master Jouster from the Grand Tournament set. So, Master Jouster. Uh, that was a 6 mana 5 6. Not too impressive, and you only win the Joust something like 50% of the time. So, um, this is a 3-5. A 3-5 for 4 mana is a lot better, but a 3-5 with Divine Shield and Taunt is a killer anti-aggro tool. So, um, I think this will definitely make Elemental Shamans a little bit better if you're playing that synergy for the if you played an Elemental last turn. Shaman decks looking more and more plausible as a real thing. Will it beat Jerry Golem? We'll have to see going forward. <laughs> my apologies for the interface there. This is my first time testing this shit out, as you can probably guess. Okay, so, 4 mana, 3, 4, 3, 5, sorry. Divine Shield, Taunt, seems good. All you need to do is play an elemental on the previous turn. So, if you're playing an elemental deck, I think you would put this in, because that's, like, just a better Sentient Shield Master, which is almost playable in some decks, like uh, Handlock. Not, hasn't really been seen lately, but um, a couple sets ago, it wasn't too bad. Just a vanilla 3-5 taunt, but what about a 3-5 taunt with Wind Fury? I mean, Defiant Shield. Pretty good, right? Okay, now for the last card, I'll have to go ahead and pull this up here. Bear with me just one second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I actually forgot to grab it. One moment, guys. One moment. It's the new Shaman Legendary. It's definitely worth the wait. By the way, do you like this crap? Or do you absolutely hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. I was just looking on Humble Bundle and uh, noticed it was there. So I figured, hey, that seems pretty fun. So, the card which will be up on my screen in about 30 seconds. You can just jump ahead if you feel like it. If you feel like it. Save images. I'm getting there. Okay, here we go. Thank you for the wait. Um, so, the calibration seems to have broken again. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. So you can read, it's uh, Kalismos on screen right there. Let's hide that interface again. So Kalismos, the Primal Lord. Uh, it's an 8 mana, 7, 7 elemental. Battle cry, if you played an elemental last turn, cast an elemental invocation. So the elemental invocations are, and you get to pick one of four, corresponding with the different elements. Air, invocation of air, zero mana, deal three damage to all enemy minions, and this happens uh, when you play this guy. So you could think of it like, so it's a 7-7 seven, seven for 8 mana that basically plays a flame strike that does three damage. Pretty sick, good board clear. Earth, fill your board with 1-1 one, one elementals, so you can play it like uh, Enixia, one mana less, one attack less. Uh, and they're all elementals. Now, I might think that those elementals would matter if you're going to play another card the next turn, like Osruk, where the more elementals you played on the previous turn, the bigger Osruk gets. So that might actually be good in some circumstances. Water, to restore 12 health to your hero for free. So 8 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, restore 12 health. Decent defensive option if you're in danger of dying to freeze mages or anything of that sort. And then finally, uh, Invocation of Fire. Zero mana, deal six damage to the enemy hero. So those are all reasonable effects in their own right. Uh, it does depend on the situation, of course. Do you need a board clear? Do you need extra power on the board? Do you need... Um, a, a, well, shit, what was the other one? So you need a fireball to the face to end the game. So it's like an eight mana pyroblast, except it's more like a fireball. But hey, if that's what finishes the game, then go for it. Or... Do you want to heal for 12? Which is usually not very good, but if it saves your life, it saves your life, hey? 
So uh, overall, this card will be... I think it's going to be on the stronger side in power level. If you're playing an Elemental Shaman deck, I think you would just play it for the uh, the air invocation, because, hey, a Flame Strike for Shamans, three, uh, 8 mana, deal 3 damage to all enemy minions, and you get a 7-7 seven, seven on the board. That's pretty damn good. So, in any case, I've been Dark Skeleton. Thanks for bearing with this crazy face rig stuff. And uh, let me know what you think down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.